<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Laura here. Um, today I thought I would do some relaxing artwork with you. We're going to do some marble art pictures. I've done this with the, in the past with some classes and they've found it very relaxing, very therapeutic. So if you'd like to have a go at home, please feel free and we're going to go through it today. So, for this we're going to need some food colouring. So today I have got some yellow, some green, some red and some blue food colouring. We're also going to need some water, a baking tray, some small bowls, I'm using ramekins, some oil and pipettes. Okay. So to start with we're going to put a small amount of sunflower oil or any oil into our small bowls and then we're going to add in some food colouring so I'm going to add my blue food colouring into this bowl you do need plenty to help it work and then you're going to use a fork to mix together the oil and the food colouring. Okay, once it's well mixed, you're going to repeat that step with any different colours that you have. So I have done some yellow, I'm just going to make sure that's nicely mixed. I've done some green. I'm going to mix that up again. And some red. Now, the food colouring does get a little bit stuck to the bottom of the bowl, so make sure you give it a really good mix together to get plenty of food colouring going onto your picture. Okay. Now, once you've finished doing that, you need to pour in some water onto your tray. So gently pour the water in and you want to try and cover the bottom of the baking dish with water. There we go. And then the next thing we're going to do is choose a colour and using our pipette we're going to suck some of the oil and the food colouring in and then drop it onto our baking tray. Okay. So I put some blue in, I'm going to add some green See, you can see the green in there I'm going to put plenty of colour into mine and I'm just going to use a different pipette and we're going to use some yellow Mixing it together again. Okay. Put the yellow droplets in there as well. Okay, so that's, I'm just going to use those three colours for that piece. The next thing we're going to do is put on a piece of our paper or card. Put that on top can move it about slightly so it picks up 
more of the colour but be careful for the water not to go over the top of the paper and then we've got to leave that one for about 30 to 40 seconds to gather up all the oil and the food colouring and hopefully when we lift it up it will create a lovely pattern so we shall wait and see We're going to do a couple of these pictures. I'll show you what you can do that's different next time. Okay. Give that a few more seconds. And then we can gently pick that up. And on there I can see blues and greens and yellows in a lovely swirly pattern and as that dries you'll be able to see more and more colours coming through. Now I'm going to leave what's left still in my tray and I'm going to add some more colour. This time I'm going to get some red colours on there. I'm going to add some more of my yellow. I'm going to add a little bit more green and I'm also going to add some more blue. You can leave them as droplets or you could use your fork and you can give them a swirl about creating a pattern in your bowl. I'm going to put another piece of card on. I can see all of the oil coming through. So this activity is just about having fun, experimenting, using different colours, making different patterns in your water and then waiting to see the finished effect. You can always use your pieces of paper afterwards to cut things out and make patterns. We've done that before which we've really enjoyed. Let's give it a few more seconds. I always find that the pictures get better the more you do because there's more colours already in the dish. There we go, there's our next one. Ooh. See all of the different colours on that one. Can you see? Right. So that's my art activity for today. I hope you enjoy it and have fun and that you find it relaxing. Thank you very much. Bye.